Mike Morris's tape is really good. There was once a time where he was thought to be a second or third round pick in the NFL draft, and lots of that is because of his production. He finished tied for second in the Big Ten with seven and a half sacks in 2022, earning him first team all Big Ten honors. Morris was also named a second team All-American by two different outlets. The fourth year edge answered a lot of questions regarding a life without Aiden Hutchinson and David Ojabo in 2022, leading the team in sacks and performing at a really high level. The problem with that is, Morris waited a long time to be a starter. 11 of his 16 starts came last season and he didn't see consistent playing time until his final year in Ann Arbor. He played at Michigan at 292 pounds, filling his 6'5 frame well. He used that size to bully offensive tackles in the run game, holding the edge and taking on multiple blockers for his linebackers to come up with a stop if he didn't himself. At the same time, he would bulldoze offensive linemen on the way to the quarterback, showing his sheer strength and athleticism for that size. Then he came into the NFL combine down almost 20 pounds at 275, cementing that he wanted to play edge at the next level. He was expected to crush the combine, but things didn't necessarily go to plan. He ran a 4.95 40-yard dash, which was the second slowest among all edge rushers in Indy. He followed that up with a 5.08 at his pro day and matched Michigan center Olu Oluwatimi, who's 35 pounds heavier in both the three-cone shuttle and 20-yard dash. With these poor scores, some suggest that he beefs up again and transitions to a guy that plays in a three-point stance on the interior, but he never really did that at Michigan. Instead, he mostly lined up on the outside, standing up. In this situation, it's not good for him to be positionless as he's fallen down draft boards quite considerably. It'll come down to tape and production versus the combine and pro day performances. His value across the league is going to be marginally different because of it. But still, I think he's shown on tape that he is capable of playing at the next level and should be drafted sometime on day three, if not maybe a little bit sooner. For Mason Brew, I'm Dan Plucker.